Welcome back to Everyday Iowa. Through the magic of television, we have made the instant trip from our studios in Cedar Rapids up to one of the coolest places in the key city in the tri-states, the National Mississippi River Museum in the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium in Dubuque. Yes. Did I get it right? Yes. Because your name was covered by your hair. Your yes. name tag. <laughs> Emily Adelfinger along with us. Good to see you again, friend. Great How to are see you? you? Good, good. Thank Tell you for making the trip. About this thing we're going to go through here today. Yeah, so this is our summer exhibit, American Adventure. It opened Memorial Day weekend and it will stay open through September 15th. Um, so if you ever played Oregon Trail in school or read those Choose Your Own Adventure books, this is one that you are really going to enjoy. So it's an interactive role play maze that puts you in the shoes of the colonists in Jamestown and your task is to survive the first winter in Jamestown in 1607. And we kind of did a little pre-walk and we're going to take you on one too. It is literally you choose your own adventure. You can go left, this can happen, you can go right. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about how long it took to set this up. Then let's head in there. Yeah, so it took our team about a week to set it up um, and it was a whole team effort. So we had people bringing in poles, we were hanging banners. Um, lots of fun to watch it come together to see where it came in from off the truck to what it is now and people have been having a blast with it. And this is in addition to the stuff you can normally see here at the museum and the aquarium, the fish, you got all the interactive stuff. This just kind of bumps it up a little bit. Yep, so the exhibit is included in general admission, so there's no additional fee to come experience this. And then after you survive the maze, you can go see our North American River Otters, pet a stingray, explore our campus. Again, so much to explore when you're making the trip to the River Museum. What are some of the highlights of, uh, you were kind of telling us some of your favorite parts. Mm -hmm. What are some of the highlights of this maze that we're about to go through? Definitely the rock wall. If you're looking for a challenge, uh, definitely give the rock wall a try. There's a zip line as well. Um, but also, I love the fact that you can choose different characters throughout. So all the life charts that are behind us here, you can choose different characters that were actual Jamestown settlers. Okay. And then you can see if you can survive. But there's, you know, uh, laborers, there's gentlemen. And so all of those depend on how you make your decisions throughout the maze based on how those people would have made their decisions in Jamestown. Well, and the cool thing is, Emily, no matter how many times you go through it, it's never going to be the same. Correct? Exactly. Yep. They're along the way, there are wheels of misfortune um, that will change where the beads live on your life chart. So like, you might get bit by a snake. You might, you know, get to go down the river. You might drink the wrong water. Um, you never know what's going to happen in this maze, and you never know if you're going to make it out alive. Let's head and take a look, shall Absolutely. we? Absolutely. Yeah, let's go. As promised, we are now inside the maze. We have our life charts. Emily, explain to me what the life chart is. Yep, so the life chart has different starting points, and that's okay. where you start your adventure. And then as you move throughout the maze, you move your beads up and down. There you'll see the red line on the bottom mm -hmm. here that says, you're dead. Yep. That's, you don't want to hit the you're dead you line. Want, you don't want to hit the you're dead line. Nope. But, and this is one of the most popular spots here, the, the rock wall. Everybody, we have people congregating here as we started out. Yep, it's definitely, it's pretty challenging. So you get different points based on if you use the yellow or the okay. blue or a combination of the both. Um, so at each station of the maze, it'll tell you how many life points you either gain or lose in the different categories of wealth, morale, food, and health. Um, and that just all kind of tells your story of how you survive in that first year in Jamestown. Look at that. The higher the wealth goes, the higher the morale goes. Let's, let's go spin yeah. the wheel of misfortune yep. over here. Another other part of the maze and this is neat stuff because this also affects points and all that stuff so give it a, a big spin it has to go all the way around once or it doesn't count let's see so oh, I lost a, lost a food and a morale for disagreeing with the council member well these things happen however let's go around a few more corners and see what else we can agree or maybe disagree with Besides the Wheel of Misfortune, all kinds of great stuff. But Emily, it's an overarching theme that you're learning while you're having fun doing this. Yes, absolutely. So at the River Museum, uh, learning is so critical to our entire mission. We want you to come away learning something new every time you visit. And this exhibit truly has a lot to learn. So a lot of people learn about the Jamestown exhibit when they were in elementary school. Parents will remember a lot of that stuff as they go through this maze. And they're like, oh, I remember that. Mm -hmm. And the kids will learn something as well, too. So uh, there's something to learn at every twist and turn. We're right next to the zip line, which yes. is you can tell is designed for the smaller folk but yes. mom and dad we've seen a lot of moms and dads grandpa and grandma's walking through here as well and we're not quite done or is this the end of it no so there's still about another okay. half of the maze to go you still have to lasso a sturgeon uh, you have to identify some smells from the forest as well too um, there's still so many twists and turns and of course more wheels of misfortune have you ever like has any of the staff gotten lost in your head to go in and rescue somebody no but a lot of the staff did not make it out alive on their first try okay. so you had to come back and try it again you make it out on your first try? I did. Knock on wood. I have, I've survived every time. All right. We're going to make one last stop, and then we'll tell you how you can get here. So hang along with us. Let's make one more walk, shall we? 
Wheels of Misfortune, there's Smells, you lasso a sturgeon, uh, nobody has died yet. We're uh, still alive. Everybody's still alive. Come see this. How long does how long will it be here? Yep, so till September 15th, that'll okay. be the last day. Um, but the museum is open year round, so be sure to come on out and you can see all that we have to offer. And then uh, give me the hours like through the week cuz it's summertime now. People yep. are looking for stuff to do. When can they be there or be here? How long can they be here? Yep, so we are open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, that's Sunday through Sunday all all week. Um, so definitely want to come out after work or if you have a day off with the kids, come on down and there's always lots of fun events going on. As as well too so make sure to check out our website that's rivermuseum.org you can check out our events page and see what's happening at the river museum just that simple we'll put all the details on our website kcrg.com we missed out on dressing up like colonialists next, next time, time. <laughs> we'll be back stay with us everyday iowa on kcrg tv 9